Hello my evil villains and this is the evil punisher uh, Today's video is going to be Another bomb making video, but uh, it's not actually a real bomb. So nobody panic uh, This is actually uh, Something different um, So I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of into bombs uh, guns knives uh, something of uh, something that's uh, quite evil uh, so I came across this idea to make a nuclear bomb now this thing is not going to be a nuclear bomb per se the only thing the different about the bomb is that it's not uh, gonna kill anybody really it's more of a super villain gadget uh, if you want to call it that mm, I've been searching up YouTube for nuclear bomb coin banks <laughs> Uh, a coin bank, uh, like a piggy bank, but uh, not exactly a piggy. Uh, we're obviously gonna make our own uh, do-it-yourself nuclear bomb piggy bank. Um, for this, uh, for this video, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make our own because uh, I've searched up even on the web um, some type of uh, coin bank. Uh, you know, something to put your change in, your pennies, your nickels and dimes, um, and I wanted. I wanted a new like a bomb. I wanted a uh, a bomb that would that we can put our change into. For some weird reason, there's I saw one that that was like an actual cannonball type bomb, but I wanted a, a nuclear bomb. I don't know why. I'm just uh, just I've been searching up a lot of nuclear weapons. As you know, right now the world is. You know, it, it's on edge with this nuclear war that we might have with, with North Korea or something. So, I've been rolling to missiles, missiles and, and bombs, okay? And uh, I came across this idea. Uh, I haven't seen anybody else do it. Uh, n nobody on YouTube has done it. So, I'm going to be the first evil villain to actually do it. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna start off the video with our supply list. Um, like the other video that I've done about the supply list, this supply list is quite small because I already have most of this uh, of these supplies. Uh, we are gonna need some scissors. Uh, I would like to use a knife for this project, but uh, my evil daughter uh, went through my toolbox and she took out my exacto knife so I didn't really have a, a sharp instrument to use to cut out the the missiles um I don't know what to call them fins like it's the bottom flaps of the missile and uh, so I decided to use these scissors and it was really really hard to use the scissors but it did take me it wasn't really that hard but it was it would made it kind of difficult without the exacto knife so I do re recommend uh, evil villains to use an exacto knife just be careful because it is a sharp blade uh, I did use a marker and to to cut out these patterns now these patterns right here I used pictures of uh, of nuclear bombs I used the pictures from the nuclear bombs um, to help me with this project because I, I wanted to get something close enough to to look like an actual nuclear bomb and I came across with my uh, a pickle jar I've had this pickle jar for a while and it was only it only had a little bit left and uh, yeah you can definitely pickle jars for some reason it it just works yeah it does resemble something of a nuclear bomb I don't know why but <laughs> maybe it's my super villain mind <laughs> that I tend to think uh, I tend to take things and, and just make them evil for some reason I, I, I just don't I just don't understand it. it's just in me and uh, yeah I came across this pickle jar and if you flip it upside down it has a lid see that it has a lid at the bottom or on the top but if you flip it around you can actually you could actually do something evil with this I don't know um, if you have the imagination for it but if you don't I'm gonna help you guys uh, help my evil villains make turn this plastic it's like a plastic pickle jar you could use a glass pickle jar it's, it's just smaller I guess the glass one um, yeah and, and we're gonna we're gonna change this pickle jar into a, a, a nuclear bomb piggy bank <laughs> We're going to stick our change in here, dollars, quarters, pennies, anything we want. And we're going to do it with style, all right? We're going to be we're going to be the first uh, evil villains to 
actually invent something like this because I've searched it up and I didn't come across anything. So if you evil villains do uh, decide to make one yourselves, well, pat yourself on the back because there's nothing like it anywhere in the world, I guess. Nobody's really thought of something like this. Um, we did use these patterns. I did take these patterns from uh, from these um, pictures that I was looking um, looking at to try to make it uh, make it as close to uh, a nuclear bomb as I can. Now, if you can see this, we're gonna be super gluing. I forgot to mention we are gonna be using a glue gun for this project. We're not using super glue just just because I found it more messy to use a super glue. Um, they run out and they, yeah, it makes a big mess and I don't like it sticking to my fingers anymore. So we're using a glue gun just to just to hurry up the process. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but we're gonna be gluing these uh, little flaps, little flaps. I don't know if you can see them. Now I didn't want to get the shape of the bottle itself. I don't know if you can see it. I'll do it really slow. You see how it kind of it kind of goes with the bottle at the bottom end of the bottle we're gonna be uh, super, we're gonna be gluing these uh, flaps uh, to the bottom part of the of the pickle jar to try to make this uh, this nuclear bomb piggy bank work for us um, yeah we are going to be using some spray paint as well uh, to paint the entire plastic bottle because we don't want to make it look ordinary we want to make this thing look as scary as possible and still make it look as cool as possible because, uh, like I said, we'd be we're gonna actually use this to uh, put our change into uh, like a like a really fun way to 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 turn this uh, pla uh, this pickle jar into a nuclear bomb piggy bank. I mean that sounds kind of cool. So we're gonna get started, and uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Uh, try to go step by step with this process. But uh, I don't want to make this video really long, so uh, yeah, we'll do it step by step, um, so I'll see you in a little bit. 